Let's start in front of Fancy. Look at my cool shield. There's no Exarch in here. <gasps> That's our friend. The previous season of Final Fantasy. Mm. Well, that was cool. Mm. Oh, that's true. He is still on top of the tower. <laughs> Stab it. Biometric <coughs> authentication complete. Please state your business. That's nice. He had AI there this whole time. <laughs> Acknowledged. Reinitializing Sitka's tower systems. Searching for Elidibus entity. Marrying us with your eyes. Oh shit, did I do that? Target located in subterranean core power accumulator. Projecting image. Oh. Is the My little home. bus tiny? My <clears throat> friends. No more than a dream. Oh. The little bus is tiny. <sighs> you. Why have you awakened me? Oh, that's right, he was tiny. At the I end. no longer sense those places beyond. All Lord Zodiac. You must explain all. Well, this crazy dude named Fan Danny decided to kill Zodiac using us, and now the world is ending once again. Well, wow. look, I just summed it up. So he has fallen, and my brethren's <clears throat> souls returned to the star. The doom we sacrificed so much to prevent is come again. Old burdens now yours to bear. But if this is Van Daniel's design, then I, as Elidibus, have a duty to fulfill. Your unsolicited act has restored to me some few memories of the convocation. Such knowledge as I have, I will share. Thank you. Thanks. No one is a fan of Daniel. I was about I to do say. this not for you. I merely perform my duty, as I have ever done. Because he's a little bit. Where to begin? Ah, the end. Your understanding of what caused the final days is consistent with our own. The decay first took root where the currents were weakest. Yes, a conclusion drawn by him, Fan Daniel. Not the him of here and now, but as I knew him, long, long ago. Having shed light upon the phenomenon, he dedicated himself to devising a countermeasure were it not for his knowledge of the Celestial, we would never have made the connection, and thence forestalled the final days. And though he inherited that noble soul, how different this last incarnation, so consumed by self-loathing and hate.
Elpis. Yes. The name is familiar to me. Yet I know it not as a flower, but a place. Oh. A testing facility for determining which of our creations were fit to be released into the world. Interesting. Many worked there. And before joining the convocation and assuming the title of Fandango, he was their chief. Huh. He was Hermes. Oh, oh shit. Interesting. The messenger. That is all I know. The crystals tell little of the lives the 14 led prior to their induction. Elpis itself would tell even less. An area ruin has survived. See, he's Wait. the messenger. I saw you there. In Elpis. No. I did not. But I That's did. because we're we have our own I stone. Did. A lingering trace of impossibility. And a truth that fills my heart. My memories remain clouded, I fear. However, they have revealed to me one possible course. You must travel to Elpis, to the time when Hermes served as its chief. We're time traveling. Cool. About to get timey wimey up in this bitch. In glimpsing yeah, the Exarch's memories, not only did I make his summoning magic mine own, I also mastered the workings of this tower. Interesting. Which, having absorbed my empowered essence, now harbors an abundance of energy. Okay. As such, I believe I can deliver you unto the past. Unto that place and that precise moment. Given the eons that must be traversed, the gateway will not be fully formed. Your form will be less tangible still than those warriors of light I had summoned. In all likelihood, none will be able to see or hear you. Yet even should you manage to interact with others, you will be unable to affect meaningful change. Does that mean he's going to launch us faster than 60 miles per hour? For the reality you wish to save, the reality to which you must return, exists as a result of the final days. You cannot reshape the past to undo the tragedies of the present. Cannot unmake the sorrow and suffering fated to come. In full knowledge of this, Will you still entrust your life to your foe and make the journey? What other choice do we have? Very well. I shall cast you unto the river of time. Let this be my final act. You must input the commands. I no longer have the authority. First, you must reconfigure the systems, that the tower's ether may be channeled for the magic. The preparations are complete. The gateway will soon open. Return at once to the ocular.
All appears to be in order. The ether flows unimpeded. The magic should consume every last mote of my essence. Why are you surprised? Did I not say that this will be my final act? Where does he go? Lord Zodiac is no more. There is nothing for me here. The ones I love and long to see again are waiting. In that promised land. Beyond memory and dream. Now go, warrior of light. Go, and do not look back. Well, Heidelin, I take my leave of you. Yours is the mantle of the last of us. May you have the joy of it, the burden and the solitude. It falls to you now, you and your champion, to save our star. Goosey bumps. Get goosey bumps. You have traveled back in time. Look at you, you're flying in space. Again. Last time we saw our ghost ghost boyfriend. Are we gonna meet old new friend again? Mm. They're so tall. Oh, we're back in Amarok. You can't see it, but we're gesticulating. It's fair. And here we are, Elpis. Sounds familiar. We seem to know who this person is. Who do you think this person is? I think it's the Daniel. It did sound like the Daniel, huh? Well, well. How rare to receive you in person. To what do we owe the honor? To me it sounded like uh Am I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, just a few odd tasks. Oh no. We'll be here a while. That's why it's the it's new old friend. Oh. It's Yeah. It's old new friend. You're welcome to stay as long as you see fit, of course. As a matter of procedure, however, I must ask that you kindly remove your masks. Come now. Is this truly necessary? Surely you can tell who we are. Who you are, perhaps. But I am far less infamous. Regardless, if we do not follow protocol, it is our hosts who would be held accountable. So, please, 
do favor us with your handsome face. Satisfied. See, it's him. I thank you for your cooperation. You are free to go about your business. By the by. You see it too, yes? <laughs> I'm standing right here, y'all. No. I haven't the foggiest what you're talking about. <laughs> hmm. That's odd. It's right here. A bit thin in the ether, but there's no mistaking it. The color of its soul is almost identical to Azem's. That's what they call us. This we're the part of the, the, the people. Do you suppose she created it? Rather unusual for a familiar to have a soul, though. Don't ask me. All I know is that it's trouble. Doubly so if it's her spitting image. Oh. Mm. Oh, mine says his. So Azam is a uh, is is any gender. So let's leave it be. Come now. Mm. Wow. Hmm. It's trying to say something, but it's literally too intangible to form words. Why don't you give it some ether? Spare a snifter of your bounteous reserves. <laughs> Who do you take me for? Why, a dear friend, of course. One who wouldn't let acts of kindness, such as my accompanying him on errands to far-flung outposts, go unrewarded? <sighs> I suggest you close your eyes, or this may be unpleasant. Put us into the loading screen. Hmm. You may open your eyes. Did he do the thing? Did it? Ah. We are now physical formed. <laughs> oh, we're also tall. We're huge. <laughs> oh, you even adjusted its size. The better to indulge your whim. This way, it will be easier to communicate. How very thoughtful of you. And may I applaud your artful reinforcement. Without further ado then. Greetings. I am Hithlidaeus, chief of the Bureau of the Architect. See, hey, it's new old friend. I think we've been saying Hithlodius. What did he say? Hithlodeus. Oh, like Amadeus. Yeah. 
Sulking beside me is the most honorable Emmett Sulk <gasps> of the Convocation of Fourteen. Hey, I told you that, Sam. We address you, my new friend. A fine name, and I'm pleased to see you understand our words. Yeah, see, it is our new friend. So tell us, whence have you come? The thinness of your essence suggests you weren't created here. When? So he knows from what time we came from. The far-flung future. You do not know? Or cannot say? Hmm. Allow me to ask a different question then. What brings you here? Wanna learn about Elpis? Elpis? Or Hermes. I'll ask about See, Hermes. Whence isn't whence isn't when? Oh, but a place. <laughs> is this another one of those From where yes. Wherefore art thou stuff? Yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, you got me with that one. I'm looking for Hermes and you're looking for Elpis. Elpis. Well now. The same as us. Their response was the same. Hmm. Perhaps as in wish to come too, but had to settle for a familiar. If she truly wished to be here, then she would be. <laughs> right you are. My apologies if we've given offense. The two of us can discern the color of souls, you see. And yours happens to resemble that of a friend. And with your purpose matching our own besides, we jumped to a hasty conclusion. We are here to speak with Hermes, the chief overseer of this facility, which we also intend to tour in order to gain greater insight into the man's work. Asmodeus. Is that how you say his name? Who? Asmodeus. Asmodeus? Is it Asmodeus? I don't know. Well, based on how they say this, it'd be Deus. Asmodeus. I don't know. We, I say, though this is Emmett Selk's charge, I am here only to serve as his guide. Who is Asmodeus? And I should be happy to serve as yours as well, by way of an apology for the misunderstanding. It's a movie. Wait, are you suggesting that we bring it along on official business? This thing we know next to nothing about? <laughs> if you harbor suspicions, better to keep it close than leave it to its own devices. Wouldn't you agree? How easy it is to open this. Thing. Besides, having a mysterious life form in tow is the norm rather than the exception here. That's funny. Hmm. What does it look Welcome, like? Welcome, my friends, to the testing ground of creation at Heaven's Edge. Elpis. Wow. Oh, shit. The world oh unsundered. God. Oh, a glowing something. Oh! <gasps> this presence. <gasps> Looking like Heidelin over there. Who is this? 
Hermes. Hermes! Visitors! We have visitors! Hermes has a helmet that has wings like that. Look at these. Hermes also has floating shoes that lets him fly. What secrets are you hiding, I wonder? BRB, guys. What happened? <laughs> Help us. Huh. You are... I wish only to hear your words, share your feelings, and know your thoughts. Interesting. May we please be friends? <laughs> May we please be friends? I love her outfit. <laughs> ah, I see you found him. It's Ladeus. It's been a while. Too long, I think. Too long indeed for close collaborators. On this blessed occasion, I bring not only myself, but others who long to speak with you. You are of the Convocation. Emmet Selk at your service. Do I have the honor of addressing Hermes, Chief Overseer of Elpis? Huh. You do. You have traveled far for it. Given your facility's purpose, its remote location is something of a necessity. Would that I didn't have to rely upon a guide. Oh, you wound me. Have I not ever been an attentive and helpful friend? But moving along to more agreeable company, this one we chance to... Come across. Well, you certainly have her attention. Is she one of yours, Hermes? Her name is Meteon. It means shooting star. Like a meteor. Mm. Hmm. If I may make an observation, her ether is terribly thin. 
I fear she might dissipate at any moment. Nor do I believe you've made a submission to the Bureau. I would remember such a concept if you had. I haven't, as you say. I judged it too early. She's a pet project of mine, still undergoing preliminary testing. But rest assured that I will attend in person ere long. Very well. Being an authority on flying life forms, I appreciate that you are exacting in your work. I shall look forward to your submission. If we have finished with the perfunctory chit-chat, I would discuss official matters. By my coming, I trust you already anticipate the subject. I have an inkling, yes. Please wait to the main building yonder. I shall join you as soon as I've returned these creatures to their homes. Time to clean. Spring cleaning. What's wrong, Hermes? An Amistoma is missing. Ambis oh. I didn't loot it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Hmm. I may have found it. A creature with the self-same ether as those there, nestled in the boughs of a tree outside the grounds. Interesting. How did you find it? How to get over there? You're saying they can climb with their sorry excuses for limbs? <laughs> the fashion has been to imbue aquatic creatures with the power of flight. Ever since the words of Mitron created a sky swimming fish. A sky the Amistomas too can fly, if only slightly. And they could conceivably climb a tree. Whether they can come down safely, however. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll help too. What? Mitron is the best. And what are we supposed to do with this lot? They look like axolotls. <laughs> what's that? May I suggest we split up? What's, what's that? My AI bot. If what's you would an be so good as to assist Hermes, Emmett Selk and I shall keep an eye on these adorable creations in the meantime. Axel bottle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he is a theater kid. This appears to be the place. And here is where we part ways. We will be discussing highly sensitive affairs. Only a select few may be privy to such knowledge, and that does not include someone who cannot or will not divulge their origins. Oh. Oh, sad. Understood. What? Will I have to remove you by force? Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh. So Let's big. hear them then, these reasons of yours. Who knows? If I deem your mysterious cause worthy, I may even be inclined to offer my assistance. I'm from the future. I do not object to her attendance. Hermes, this is highly irregular. Perhaps, but I believe she can be trusted. Meteon would not have taken to her so quickly otherwise. Moreover, the presence of a third party may help me to maintain composure. <sighs> As you wish, then. Behave yourself, do you hear?
Yeah, Fendani. We don't need any theatrical acts up in here. So, it's finally happened, then. Aye. Van Daniel has declared his intention to step down, and named you as his preferred successor. In recognition of your knowledge and your works, the Convocation is giving the recommendation due consideration. As one who does not know you personally, I am to use my impartial eye to take your measure. And above all else, to ascertain your disposition towards the invitation. You have been weighed, you have been measured, and you have been found wanting. It's from a knight's tale. Right. If you didn't know. I understand that you and Van Daniel are close. He himself was once chief overseer of Elpis, after all. I should not be surprised if you knew before anyone else that he wished to relinquish his office. I did. He told me that when he fulfilled his purpose, he wished to pass the torch to me. A torch you seem none too pleased to accept. Are you so averse to serving on the Convocation? No, it's not that. For a humble researcher like myself to even be considered is an honor beyond words. No. What troubles me, what I struggle to come to terms with, is the very fact that Van Daniel is stepping down. <coughs> Does this not mean that he will return to the star? Of his own volition, yes like so many others have before him. Return to the star? Does that mean... die? Well now, that's not a word I hear often. Is that what you say here in Elpis? Mankind is the life of Atheris. Each of us a drop of blood flowing through its veins, bearing sustenance. In our finite time upon it, tis our duty to make it a better place, that all who call it home, now and in future, may abide in happiness. To that end, we have dedicated ourselves to the pursuit of enlightened creation, and by our efforts did we transform this once untamed wilderness into the peaceful paradise you enjoy today. To return to the star whence we came is a privilege afforded to we who have so loved and nurtured it. A choice embraced by those who have lived their lives to the fullest, in service to our world. And when they depart upon this journey, it is beautiful, always. I love that. The 14 are no exception. Tis believed no occasion is more felicitous than the fulfillment of one's duty. Our office becomes our lives, and to retire is to return, or so the majority of us hold. Some few have elected to eschew custom. Mayhap you feel Van Daniel's deeds do not warrant his return. Yet you should know his accomplishments as well as any. During his time, he conceived of countless outstanding concepts. And channeling the wealth of experience he attained here in Elpis, he brought forth many new specimens. I know of all this. I do. It's just... I cannot fathom why someone so great and wise who could still do so much good, would want to end it all. Oh no, 
I've made her upset. Forgive me. I know I requested your presence. Might I trouble you to take Meteon outside? A change of scenery would do her good. <laughs> 